from a cold, windy, majestically beautiful Rocky Mountain National Park. So, I tried to get up to some of the more popular um, lakes in the park this morning, but I don't have four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, and I'm kind of a scaredy cat. I don't want to drive off a mountain. So, any uh, anything that's a little sketchy, I'm not doing it. I'm out here alone. But what we do have is beautiful diffused light coming through the mountains. So just back here, there's a little set of trees in this meadow and the sun's coming up behind it. I might have to work pretty quick because that sun's rising. I think I already missed a shot already. So see what we can do, whether it's gonna be the trees or whether it's gonna be the sun just splaying across these mountains over here. So I'll catch in with you in a, in a minute. Well, folks, the M50 just took a tumble. I think it'll be okay. It did land on the headphone port side, so there may, may have got a little snow in there. I hope not, but it seems to be doing okay right now. I'll know when I get home and figure out if the audio is all jacked up. So I've moved a little bit closer here. I'll show you my other shot. I didn't like the tree that was on the right-hand side of the screen, so I've just kind of come up to this tree here, and we're trying to eliminate that from uh, from my foreground. I mean, more or less, it's probably going to end up being a pano or, um, you know, a little bit of a wide-angle silhouetted shot with the diffused light on the mountains. The light's changing quickly, so i got to get this shot and move on. So one thing I always look out for when taking a shot, especially of a horizon line, is if there's any trees that are cutting up above the trees behind it. If you can eliminate this from the frame by moving around a little bit, it can really help clean up your composition. So just a quick tip. out of the wind now. So kudos to anybody out there who's making vlogs because when you've got the weather throwing uh, trouble at you and you've got two cameras, two tripods, you're trying to put up good quality content and images, that's a, that's, that's a task. So I just pulled over. I'm on the other side of the park now and same concept. I'm going to try to work with these layers in the mountains with this diffused light. It really looks spectacular. I may end up switching into a black and white. I've really liked that style with um, this particular kind of shot here lately. So let's see if I can't show you what I've got going on in the back of the camera. So the sun peaked up over the mountains there, so I wasn't able to show you what's going on on here uh, just because of the reflection. But for this shot, I'm going to shoot it wide and try to just get this top layer of trees in. And as I'm taking this shot, there's a couple deer down here, and I planned on putting on my telephoto lens anyway to try to just really zone in on a couple of those layers. And uh, lucky enough, a couple deer strolled up. We'll see if we can't get a few shots of them as well. And there's even some birds over here too, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> 